precisely 8.50 a.m. on Friday, April 20th, and I am officially going to my first advertised garage sale. Cannot believe it's the first one, but the first of many. So welcome to Flippin' for a Living, you guys. Glad you can join me. I'm gonna try and show you some amazing finds, but this is the time of year, obviously, where what we got like five garage sales I can go to today and probably 200 serious buyers out there so yeah I'm not counting on much but in another month when there's area sales and community sales and there's 500 garage sales for only a couple hundred buyers back of this truck will get filled up multiple times on days diamonds jewels old pictures of Jesse James 2.8 million dollar Mickey Mantle rookie cards they're all possibly out there for us to find here we are guys first sale of the year does it look promising I guess we'll find out let's go take a peek am I too early no pardon no you're not too early not too late oh yeah I guess eh a lot of people stalking you this morning Oh, a lot of people even coming by yesterday. As soon as they saw the hat, they were already uh, coming out. Yeah, that's annoying, but. Yeah, that's all right. As long as they buy something. Well, exactly, right? Take the money while it's there, hey? Yeah. Are you selling those trunks? Uh, they're my brother-in-law. I think that uh, he might. Well, he might. He's gonna be here soon. Okay. Well, he's yeah, but he's never been time yet for anything. So. How much for the chop saw or the this guy? How much for this? Oh, uh, offer. I'm not very good at offers. Well, you guys, I gotta tell you, that first sale of the year, it's like even though I've been doing this for almost three decades, there's a little bit of rust. There's a little bit of rust on the brain. There was so much, uh, I didn't know what to buy, what not to buy, a lot of garden tools, um, a lot of other tools, but they seem to be overpriced. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't getting a good vibe. The life jackets I looked at, five bucks a piece, that's just too much. And then they had just so much still in boxes. You know, they had like, they had to be about 60 boxes still they have to unpack. So I'm gonna give them a chance to do that. But in behind those trunks that I asked about, uh, they did have, they were selling this estate, their grandmother's estate off, um, but it was at their house. So I just happened to notice my second lap around in behind those trunks, I did get pretty nice longboard and a beat up skateboard. I got the pair for $25. The longboard I'm probably going to get 100 bucks for. There is another sale back in their area, maybe eight blocks from where they were um, a couple hours later. So I'm going to go back, give them a chance to unpack all that stuff and see, uh, see what else is there. Let the fog clear a little bit because uh, there was probably some other deals that I just missed out on. I'm not firing on all cylinders just yet. This uh, next sale I'm going to, I'm pretty familiar with this area. I've been to a few sales here. Typically, you know, it's a really tight little townhouse. It's typically older people and they've got everything just crammed into one little single car garage. That's probably what we're gonna run into but um, I'm not gonna not go when there's only like four sales to go to sure enough let's go check it out Oh, 
they always accumulate more over the years and then it's the How about that one? I'm gonna let him worry about himself. No, okay. Um so when everything's meticulously set up and priced, even down to the single Fisher Price figures having their own separate price tag, you know that these people are serious business and they have done this several times before. So we didn't spend a lot of time there. That was one of those 60 second stops. Just stopping real quick for a drink and I'll show you the two, the two, um, the longboard and the skateboard that I got for 25 bucks. So yeah, this one, it was five bucks and it's, pretty beat up on the edges you can see that I will be lucky to get $20 for that nice shape wheels are good San Clemente 76 I think those are pretty good wheels too So I came back to this sale and yeah, the prices still seem to be a little bit high for me, but um, I did buy, they did have a third skateboard that was hidden and it's definitely better than the other one. Like I'll probably get 30 or 40 bucks for it and it was $5. So that's cool. But right now I'm just kind of people watching. And is it just me or when you're in this business? Do you second guess every time you see another dealer, like that lady in the green there, and there's another gentleman in the garage, they're still shopping, they're looking at all sorts of tools, they're walking away with boxes of stuff. And I'm like, why am I not buying that? What are they buying? I mean, obviously you're curious, but man, is it just me? Please, please tell me if it's just me in the comments section below, who's paranoid that those people are getting the three dollar item that's worth 500 that i missed out on so this guy walking out with the boxes right now him and his dad they got boxes of linen two boxes of like towels and sorry two boxes like towels and blankets and stuff and i'm like oh man why didn't i buy that that is the last thing i wanted oh make it three boxes there's the third one Oh, make it four boxes. I know they've also bought some dishes and stuff, but yeah, anyways. That's my wrap for the day. Hey guys, one more quick stop on Friday and then I'm gonna add a few more sales to this video Saturday morning. This one looks pretty good from the outside, a couple bikes. Let's go see what they got. I figured there'd be hordes and hordes of people here. Oh, yeah, that is busy, actually. Yeah. yeah. No, there, there's no competition out there, so. We should do this. Good, thank people you. People be itching to get out, you know? Yeah. Can't work in their yards. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's and, and, and no competition, right? There's yeah. only a few other sales in the whole city, so. That's right. Yeah, there's only a few other sales in the whole city, so. That's right. Illusion, more stuff. We had a big one last year and got rid of just Did you? stuff. So. Actually, a lot of sold already. Too. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. You advertised for four, but you probably had people here at two in the afternoon. Yeah, but I raised home from work early. Yeah, I mean. Well, nothing really there. The bike was quite beat up. Not even worth the $15 they had on it. Um, I don't mind buying $15 bikes if I can flip them quick for 50 or 60 bucks, which I do a lot of, probably 100 bikes every summer. Sure, it's nice to find a $100 bike that you can sell for 300, but those 10 and $15 bikes, don't pass up on those. Especially in spring and early summer, they sell quick for 40, 50, 60 dollars. All I got was these tiny, tiny little sunglasses, like super tiny, like for a baby but I'm gonna use them for my dog or cat. Because, you know, you gotta protect the eyes of the animals. Looking forward to Saturday morning, you guys. We'll find uh, probably six, eight sales that we can go to and hopefully have some good luck. Let's go see what we find Saturday morning.
Well, it's about 8.15 Saturday morning. I know that seems like a late start in my area, but it's not. None of these uh, five garage sales that I'm going to start until nine o'clock. So it's actually an early start. And yes, I only have five to go to. I don't have very high hopes, but it's still like Christmas morning when you haven't been to yard sales for, you know, five, six months, six, five, six, seven months. So we're going to go and try our luck, of course. Not a lot happening here, not a lot of people, but that could bode well. Not a lot of product, but you never know. Never do a drive-by. 30 seconds, let's check it out. Hey. Morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. All right. Here's the next sail over my shoulder here. Nice and blocked off with the police caution tape. Is that because it's a crime? How high their prices are? Or a crime how low they are, hopefully. Either way, let's go take a look. Looks promising from the street. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, it was. Salt, no, it's salt. Yeah. Because I... You looked at it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't even remember. That last sale ended up being pretty decent. Um, guy's gonna call me back on some video game stuff. He's got a, a Sega with a few boxed games and they are the kind of the first person anime type um, titles which have way more value than any sports title or even the Sonics and stuff like that. So um, looking forward to hearing about those. And he said he's got a stack of Dungeons and Dragons um, books that go up to his waist. So I can only assume at uh, roughly two and a half feet, he should have about a hundred um, should have about a hundred manuals, so he's gonna give me a price on those too, but they're at a different location Bought two things from him for $20. I bought Mega Man 6 for Ness um, In the box still no manual now It's not gonna be a hundred, but I should be able to get 60 to 75 dollars for that pretty easily The box is in in really decent shape And a Sega Dreamcast all the cords are there uh, no games, unfortunately, but two controllers, and those go for around a hundred Canadian. All right, one more sale. It's this school up here. They posted some pictures online, and it doesn't really look like it's a very big gymnasium, but uh, I will definitely. Well, I'm definitely checking it out because I'm here, right? Okay guys, just to finish off the morning at this school sale, it was pretty decent. Um, I got, I spent $15. I got a nice pair of girls Nike shoes. They're in good shape still. Really nice shape actually. Those are $3. This brand new Excalibur chess station. Um, $2 for that and they're going for about 30 uh, online so that's a great markup 1500 percent and then I got a Samsung um, Samsung DVD player and a Pioneer sorry a Samsung Blu-ray player and a Pioneer DVD player both of them with remotes guaranteed to work they say uh, those were five dollars each and I'm um, looking at 60 ish maybe a little bit more on both of those so $15 and we're easily gonna get 150 bucks back 10 times our money Okay guys, I'm back home in the man cave in the storage room my garage at home and I just want to go over the uh, The things I bought at that one yard sale that I wasn't able to show you because they were in the back of the truck Ended up spending $19 there funny story I was in such a hurry this morning when I left that place originally that I left without picking up this stereo I packed up my other stuff and walked away and um, it was such good deals, I didn't even feel like I was forgetting anything, but I forgot that stereo. So I went back about an hour, hour and a half later, and they had put sold on it, and it was still sitting there for me. They were contemplating whether they should resell it or not and give me back my five bucks, but thank goodness they kept it because I should easily get about 50 or 60 bucks for that uh, locally. I'm, I'm not going to ship that out. 
gonna sell that locally, make 10, 12 times our money real easy as you saw in there, or maybe you didn't. It was only five bucks for that. So when I went back, I also bought this guy for a dollar. I mean, it's got a um, CD and a tape player. I know a lot of people probably overlook those and think they're just useless, but that's another thing I don't really ship out. I'll just sell that locally for 20 bucks. A lot of people will take that to the cabin or the lake or whatever, just extra one to have around. And easily 20 times our money on that. Never pass those up for a dollar. Uh, a couple more things I got. This is a brand new Movie Edit Pro. I might see if that's um, a good editor to maybe start editing my YouTube videos better for you guys, but we'll see. Microsoft Life Cam 7000, that's brand new. That was two bucks. These are those Psy washes I talked about. They're a wool, wool knitted jacket, and in my opinion, they're actually really ugly. But there's a lot of hipsters out there um, who like this kind of stuff, a buck a piece for those. And uh, I, I could expect anywhere from 30 to $75 for those online. Uh, I didn't look this up yet. But I had some some figures from this movie before, this Rudolph movie, um, and they sold pretty good. This is still brand new and sealed. It was two bucks. I'm gonna guess right now that this is gonna be worth, for sure, twenty bucks. But um, we'll look it up shortly here. This guy was a dollar. You may or may not be able to see that. One dollar for this. Um, it's just kind of an old retro footstool. Uh, they sold it for a dollar because. The hinges aren't broken or damaged in any way, but uh, the screws have popped out. So we'll just put some longer screws in there and someone will pick that up locally also for probably about 20 or 25 bucks. And last thing um, for a dollar, this Targus laptop case in really nice shape. They only wanted a buck for that. They only wanted a buck for that. We should easily get 20 bucks for that. So. Um, and there's the Sega Saturn. I just cleaned it up a little bit so I could take a picture of it. I'm going to try that locally first also. I always try my video game stuff locally first. Um, it's such a huge market. There's really no reason to have to ship that stuff out. Um, I generally sell all my video game stuff locally. The super ultra rare games I will post um, so that the world wide web can fight over it. But um, Generally something like this, just a console, even though it's you know a rare one, Dreamcast. I'll just sell that locally. I'm gonna post that for probably 80 bucks, pay 20 for that. So overall today, you guys, it doesn't seem like an awful lot. You saw the stuff from earlier. Um, about $110 I spent roughly, and um, some quick math, seven, 750 we're gonna get out of everything. So pretty darn good um, first day of garage sales you know the couple from yesterday and five or six from this morning i'll take that any day six hundred dollars profit um and it's only going to get better so thanks for coming to the channel thanks for coming to flipping for a living you guys i hope you um learned a little something from this if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comment section below and i'll be glad to answer them make sure and hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you see when all my new videos come out hope you all have a great day guys and love what you do